All right, uh, we've taken care of some prerequisites in our first three video tutorials on becoming a web developer for Gunner Technology, and uh, it's been, you know, kind of slow, kind of easy. Uh, now we're going to get into a little bit more fun stuff. Uh, we're going to install RVM and install Ruby. And RVM is a Ruby version manager. And the reason it's really beneficial to use on its own, but the reason we sort of required it at Gunner Technology is because we work with a lot of different clients with a lot of different requirements. So we're often switching between different versions of Rails, uh, which rely on different versions of Ruby. And this makes switching back and forth between different versions of Ruby and gem sets uh, very easy. So let's get started. Uh, we're taking a look at our Gunner Technology setup on our on our wiki, and this line comes from the RVM page. So we're just going to copy this and open a terminal window, and we'll run. The, this is for one user. Uh, this is for the only one user on the computer. If you want to install it for multiple users, you can do that. Although it's a little more complicated, you have to add in each individual user to the group and so we just prefer to do it on a user by user basis per machine. Okay, so uh, after after it's done, it leaves you a brief message here which we'll open up and look at. This is a brand new computer so I haven't actually uh, changed my um, shell to be the way I like it. Uh, so basically it says close this shell and open a new one in order to use RVM. Um, there's some more stuff further up, and yes, we have Xcode tools installed. No, we don't intend on installing Mac Ruby or JRuby or Iron Ruby right now. Uh, so now this is giving us some default. You must now complete, this is what we're looking for, you must now complete the install by loading RVM into new shells. Place the following line at the end of your shell's loading files, uh, which is the bash RC or the bash profile. Uh, so after all path and variable settings. So this is the line that we're interested in right here. And all we're gonna do here is we're going to, um, you know, and it is we don't even have a bash profile, so we're gonna open up that we're gonna create a bash profile for ourselves. And we're gonna paste that right there. And we're gonna save it. So we took care of that, we installed it into our bash profile. And again, the, just the command for that was uh, nano and then um, oh gosh, I and I screwed it up. Sorry, so let me um, Save. I'm going to remove that bash profile. I installed it in the wrong place. And what we're looking for is in our home directory. So there is no bash profile, only a profile, which um, let's open that up. Okay, so we can add it in, in here as well. So this is what you can see Mac ports added some stuff automatically to here uh, when it installed. So we're just going to paste that right there. I'm going to save it. So what else does it tell us we need to do? Ensure there is no return from inside the bash RC file. Otherwise, RVM may be prevented from working properly. Uh, no, there is no return. It just means it doesn't exit out of the script prematurely. So I think that is all we need to do. Um, so now we need to install the various versions of Ruby that we want to be able to use. Uh, now again, depending on what project you get assigned, you'll have different versions of um, Ruby, but two of the ones that we use a lot are 1.9.2 head. So we're just going to uh, open a new terminal tab and paste that in. And it's going to install Ruby 1.9.2 and I'm going to pause it while it does that. Okay, so that took about 20 to 30 minutes for it to compile and download and all that other stuff. So I'm not going to take the time to install the other one on the screencast, but basically uh, all you do after that is you're going to install the other uh, edition that we use a lot, which is the Enterprise Edition. The last thing you're going to do is make uh, 1.9.2 the, the default uh, version of Ruby to use, and that's it. You're done. You're all set up and ready to start using Ruby.